myself at a daily party Didn't know that's how it go I was in it for a new Ferrari But it cost me way more than my soul Calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, you haven't. I mean, you try to get in contact with me, you know, through all my, you know, biz, you know, partners and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But you, you never really got my number, so. Yeah. I had the Lamborghini for a day or two, and he had <laughs> access to the house, and he knows better than be talking about the things that he does with Big Brother Puff on national television. <laughs> oh, apparently not. Something. <laughs> everything ain't for everybody. Oh yeah, Diddy got a podcast. About a couple of years ago, Justin Bieber performed this song, and I'm not a huge Justin Bieber person. Like I've never been to one of his concerts. I don't necessarily search for his or look for his albums or his songs to release, but I do like a lot of his music. But I have to admit, man, this video is one of the most emotional videos I've ever seen personally. And if there was a way that I can show you on camera in real time, the goosebumps that go and the chills I get across my entire body, uh, when I every time I watch this video, it's real. This is not for shock value. This is truth, right? Because it's easy for a lot of us to sit back and talk about Justin Bieber this, and he's in a lot of the, 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 the news headlines because of what's happening with P. Diddy. It's easy right now. But as a human being, I truly wonder if that man is okay. From videos of him crying, doing interviews, talking about he doesn't want to happen to how, to his girlfriend, the same things that happened to him in the industry. It was hard for me being that young and being in the industry and not knowing where to turn and everyone, you know, telling me they love me and, you know, just turn their back on you in a second. I just want to protect her, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't want her to go through anything I went through. I don't wish that upon anybody. I mean, you just have to wonder what he's talking about. And you just have to wonder what type of, you know, trauma or PTSD that he's dealing with, right? And of course, they say that Usher discovered Justin Bieber, who Usher was discovered by P. Diddy and groomed and, and brought up in the industry by P. Diddy. And then when Usher discovered Justin Bieber, he then gave him over to P. Diddy for a short period of time for professional development purposes even though I personally don't believe that these any of these artists are quote unquote discovered, that's just my personal opinion. I think a lot of these artists are um, under MK Ultra. I believe a lot of them, and by a lot of them, I mean just about all of them, are either related to somebody that's already in the industry or they're closely and heavily affiliated already with somebody in the industry. That's my personal opinion. I don't think new people, everyday people like you and I, even the ones that are very talented, can just get into the industry. I just don't. Um, so when you talk, when you think about somebody like P. Diddy, I mean, you think about somebody like Justin Bieber and how he was, a, you know, closely affiliated with P. Diddy and how a lot of people treated him in the industry, even at a young age, 14, 15 years old, you have grown women on camera just comfortable with just touching him and grown men on camera just touching him and doing things and sexualizing him. Has your mom given you a sex talk yet? I mean, like, I I really like, I really don't want to have that conversation with my mother. Yeah. Like, I've I've kind of had it with my with my father. You want to hear? Oh, really? Oh, See, my mother? parents my parents never gave me the sex talk. Okay. So why don't you give me the sex talk? I I Teach really me. I feel uncomfortable right now. Oh. Why do you want to know the sex talk from a fifteen year old boy? That's pretty weird. You know, I got believe. Get that off there. Hey, 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 hey. hey. Your no, face. no, I will. No, no, <laughs> Would you rather be have to be naked on stage during one full song, <laughs> one full song, or drink a cup of blended worms? <laughs> Answer Justin Bieber. Can I say this? Lean into me again. You smell amazing. How old are you? Uh, thank you. Listen, I just want to interrupt for just a sec to say if you are enjoying this video, I ask that you please hit that like button. If you enjoy my content, if you want to help the channel, please hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm. It helps pushes my video out there. I would really, really appreciate it. Also, subscribe to my second channel if you have not subscribed yet. Link is in the description. 
it's like, and it also goes to show like from this video that the double standards, because if that was a grown man doing that to a very, very young girl at the same age as Justin Bieber was at those times, it would be a much larger backlash. But because he's a young boy, it's not as big of a backlash. So it makes you wonder what what was it about Justin Bieber that was happening to him in his life where they was preparing him for that sort of behavior. And I do want to debunk one rumor. Um, there's a video of Justin Bieber out there um, with Trey Songs and Odell Beckham Jr. Uh, in the club. And I will admit that it does look like Justin Bieber was about to do something very suspicious. But um, Jaguar Wright, who I believe a lot of the things that she said, I have to disagree with her on this one. She said that Justin Bieber wiped his mouth. He did not wipe his mouth. And I actually don't think he did anything. I think he was about to. And you said that Trey Songz was on the, look like, on the lookout. I just don't believe that either because I missed mean, a camera right there beside them. Whether Trey Songz was the, one, was the one holding the camera or was somebody right beside him. Either way, he knew that they were being recorded in a club. So I don't believe anything was happening in that moment. But it did look very suspicious like something was about to happen. But, it, but on a bigger, larger scale, it just makes you wonder, what is this about? Why are you in all these weird scenarios with these people? Right? Why is P Diddy comfortable with patting you down like that? Why is why is P Diddy why is any parent allowing you to go on any one on one with a grown man that's not your father? He's having forty eight hours with Diddy, him and his boy. Um, they're having the times of their lives, hanging out, and what we doing? Um, we we can't really disclose, but um, it's definitely a fifteen year old's dream, and we gonna go full, buck full crazy. I'm going crazy. Crazy. Let's just go get some girls. Let's go hang with some girls. Man after my heart. That's what I'm talking about. You come down there, you gotta, you know, wear your seat. I mean, I'm 15. Day. You could ride in the passenger seat. I got my permit. Now that, not yet. No. All right, no, 16. No, 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 He's got the Lamborghini for a day or two, and he had access to the house, and he knows better than be talking about the things that he does with Big Brother Puff on national television. <laughs> oh, apparently not. Some things, everything ain't for everybody. For professional development purposes, and you on camera talking about it's a 15-year-old's dream, and you can't disclose the things that y'all gonna do, but you're gonna get buck wild crazy. Crazy stuff, and a lot of people don't even remember this video right here. What's up, man? You good? So, I'm good. How are you? Right, young brother, everything's good. Everything's Selling great. out arenas and yeah. everything. Starting to act different, huh? You, no, you, no, ain't, no. you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, you haven't. I mean, you try to get in contact with me, you know, through all my, you know, biz, you know, partners and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But you, you never really got my number, so. Right. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna yeah, tell yeah. you my number. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's them in the studio, and him acting. You know, Justin Bieber, like, hey, I've been trying to get in contact with you, man. Like, where you been at? Your number different. And, and in my opinion, he looked nervous. And yeah, I'm not the only one that thinks that. I want to know what Justin Bieber, all these, I want to know. Justin Bieber, look at his life change. His man, life, that man is terrified of Puffy. I seen the video. I'm in the streets, dog. You and, like, people know, you know fear, dog. But y'all are probably here for the reason I, I tired of the video. The performance. There's a song called Lonely that a lot of you all may know already that Justin Bieber sang about a couple of years ago. Please take a listen to this emotional song. Everybody saw me sick and it felt like no one gave a shit. They criticized the things I did as an itty kid. Oh, what if you had it all with no It's a great record, but even more so outside of just being a great record, it's the way he sang it. That was from the soul. You can't fake that. And it makes you wonder. I think a lot of these records are given to artists. I think they have a, a sweatshop full of ghostwriters for a lot of these artists because it's about promoting the, 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 the brand, right? 
even if the, the lyrics and the meanings and the stories are not coming from the actual person. This is one of those stories I really and truly believe came from Justin Bieber. Like that man looked like he's been through some stuff. Look at how he came into the industry and look how he looks now. He's been through some stuff and he's only human, right? Have y'all seen this performance? Does it not give you the chills? Does it not make you wonder what's true, what's not? What has he really been through, right? Because at the end of the day, once again, these are real human beings, man. Hop in the comment section. Give me your thoughts. I'd love to know what you think. Um, I pray for everyone involved, everyone mentioned in this video. Um, I suggest that you all pray for them as well. Until next time, man. God bless. Peace. Oh, yeah. Diddy got a podcast.